Hello everyone, Donna Gray here, your Stepping Up Demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. Jumping on live once again and yes, I'm doing heaps of live videos this week so that you um, don't get into withdrawals for next week because I won't be around next week. So please feel free when you jump on to say hello, let me know where you're watching from um ask me any questions that you want i'm just going to get things up here on my tablet so i can see any comments so uh where am i going so i'm just going to wait until hey Anne, how you going nice to see you this afternoon hey mari thanks for joining so i'm going to do a bit of um an unboxing again because I received orders. If you were watching my live video the other day, you would have seen that my daughter came in and said the postie left two of these parcels. So I thought what I would do is open the two parcels with you today so you can see some of the new products that I've ordered. Um, you've been able to log in this time. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. Um, hopefully, now I need to see if I can see comments. Okay, I can see comments happening. Um, I don't have my laptop with me today. I'm going to see if I can share this from here. I wonder, can I share it? Please let me share. Share. Um, okay. Hey, I'm sorry, bear with me. I'm just going to try and share this into uh, in a group. That's where I need to go. Um, this one here. That. Oh, wow, this is exciting. Share. Um, I can share into lots of places here. This is awesome. I've just worked something out here on my tablet. This is so cool. Okay, there, there. Um, stamping, sorry, I'm getting there. VIP customers, that's what I wanted to. Okay, so I've shared to a whole heap of groups. Hey, Julie, thanks for joining. So um, I'm going to, thank you for sharing, Chrissy. That's awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and catch your comments as I go through. Um, but I'm going to show you all the wonderful new things that I have in my box. Hey, Susan. Oh, you got the glitter dots today. That's awesome. I'm so glad. Congratulations for being one of my lucky winners. It was awesome that you joined me on my... Um, catalog launch which was fantastic hey Tanya thanks for joining hey Amanda okay so I'm just going to pop that there hopefully I'm going to see everyone's comments as we go along what's going on there something's just happened okay so I'm going to flip you forward you don't need to see the front of me there hey Angie how you going okay so I've got it up fairly high so I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see everything in this box I'm going to leave that beside me there so I can see. So I've got lots and lots of gooding, goodies. And this time, yes, it was shopping for me. It was shopping for some of my clubs and things, which is um, fun as well. Um, Angie, you got your bundle this morning. That's awesome. So glad for you. Okay, so um, the little embossing, the in-colour embossing powders, they come in these cute little cylinders I think is really, really cute. You pull the top off. And out comes your little embossing powders. They are so super, super cute. So I had to order some of those for my In Colour Club. So I had enough for everybody. Hey, Rita. Thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing, Susan. Okay, some of the In Colour Markers. That's also for my In Colour Club once again. I'm thinking I need the other box. And I'll just pack it into the other box. That's the plan as I unpack. Okay. Now, um, beautiful in colour clips. So I'm getting out of the way the things that I've ordered just for my club. Um, oh, you have lovely lipsticks on your fingers, Angie. Yes, it does get a bit that way. I actually had to wash my hands because I've been crafting madly this morning. And as you can see, I've got ink underneath my fingernails. But I, um, I had to do videos for all of my clubs and things this morning. So, um, yeah, I've been madly videoing 
all morning. Okay, so I've got the beautiful, they're called basic adhesive backed sequins and there's lots of different colours in there. So that's an awesome thing that I think um, no more using glue dots to try and stick on our sequins. These are the beautiful new glitter enamel dots and they're in, um, I think it's gorgeous grape. I'll see if it says the colours over here. Don't think it does. Gorgeous grape, looks like lovely lipstick, granny apple green and coastal cabana by the looks, but beautiful glitter dots. So that's um, another fun thing that I got. Um, just some bronze embossing powder. Now this is the beautiful um, ruffled ribbon. This is where I got a little bit confused. I was thinking it was in our new in colours, but it's not. It's our in colours from last year. So this is the beautiful powder pink. Is it powder pink? doesn't want to say on there anyway powder pink um, fresh fig and I got berry burst I'm going to save up to get the other colors but a beautiful ruffled ribbon um, Mari says she loves the glitter dots yes I think they're beautiful hey rails thanks for jumping in thanks for saying hello okay so I've ordered some of the new ribbons um, this one here is the gorgeous grape striped ribbon so hopefully you can see that, but yeah, I think that's going to be fun to use on our projects. And this is the grey granite, the new grey that we have, and it's a woven, it's called a textured weave ribbon, which I think looks really, really nice. And I have seen people tying bows with it, and it ties really, really nice as well. And I just got um, our pool party shimmer ribbon, because I needed some ribbon that colour. The beautiful um, graceful glass vellum. I got that because that's for one of my um, monthly stamp club ladies that has been in my stamp club for six months and so she gets a $20 voucher so she chose that um, glass vellum. This is some 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, you can now get them in all of the colour ranges. This is the Brights collection so I did that because I wanted to get some 12 by 12 cardstock to do um, some scrapbook layouts. This is to die for. Look at this rose glimmer paper. Who could not love that? I was like, oh my God, when I seen that, I had to get it. Hey, Michelle, thanks for joining. I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining. Just going back through the comments now to see what everyone's saying. Okay, so rose glimmer paper. Also, there is rose um, metallic thread and also some rose... Um, Diamantes as well, which is really nice. Blackberry Bliss. This is my second packet of Blackberry Bliss. Are you imagining that this is my most favorite color? It is definitely my most favorite color. Actually, look at the glimmer paper and my fingernail. Oh my God, it's a match. Look at that. Do you think maybe I like the rose glimmer paper? Maybe. <laughs> okay, um, and just some basic cardstock white cardstock and I got some of our um, grey granite cardstock this is the fun part people this is when we get into the nitty-gritty the exciting the new stamp sets so I've got another pack of the in color ink pads because I needed that for my in color club and if you are still interested in being part of my in color club I can still take people for my in color club this here, this stamp set, I think is absolutely fantastic. Look at the massive sentiments here. Happy to know you. Life is tough, but so are you. Congratulations to you. Thanks for all you do. You make me proud. I just think those sentiments were awesome. So that's called the Friendly Expressions. It's a red rubber stamp. Um, so the clear mount, it will um, cling to your clear mount blocks. So I think that's great for... Um, a sentiment. This one here, could not wait to get this. Who loved the Heartfelt Blooms stamp set in our celebration? If you loved the Heartfelt Blooms stamp set, you are definitely going to love the Healing Hugs. Sorry, I'm trying to, um, my comments aren't coming forward. You've enjoyed your cardstock that you got in your starter kit, Angie, yes? Um, Michelle's saying that she's loving the purples. Hey, Margaret, thanks for joining. Um, love the purples, absolutely love it. So this one here, this is um, one of the detailed stamps that they have, 
and it's absolutely gorgeous. The trick to this is not to have a really inky ink pad. So um, make sure it's not a really juicy ink pad so you get the, the proper detail. And the leaves are the nice detail as well. But this, the beautiful sentiments, get well soon. If hugs and kisses could cure, you'd be immune to everything. Feel better soon. Lovely sentiments. Wishing you a quick and complete recovery. Sending you healing vibes. And a lovely little texture stamp here too. So I can see that I'll be using that texture stamp in the backgrounds of... Um, my stamping to add a little bit of texture to your, your cards. Beautiful little um, flower stem there too and some lovely leaves. So I think that one's going to be a favourite as well. Um, there's a couple of things in here that they all come in bundles. Actually, I think nearly everything comes in bundles. And why do I have two of them? Oh, no. Okay, this is one that I've been dying to get some reason I have two of this stamp set and I shouldn't have it. Okay, Dandelion Wishes. I've been hanging for this stamp set and I think I'm actually going to... Hey, Deborah, how are you going? Um, Tanya's going, playing with that as you watch um, my favourite stamp set. Patricia, did you get my email today? Um, lovely. I did send you an email with some info in it. Um, hey, Margaret, thanks for jumping in. This was my definite must-have. On the night that I got the catalogue at the um, Silver Elite dinner um, at Onstage, as soon as I got this catalogue, I fell in love with this stamp set. The beautiful scrolly script that it has and the beautiful dandelions I think is absolutely wonderful. So I think I'm actually going to make a card with that today. I have a bit of an idea of what I want to do, so I actually will pop that off to the left. Um, okay, so... Um, what have I got here? Beautiful layers, thinlets. Bouncing baby. This is so, so cute. Sweet baby and bouncing baby framelets. Um, no worries, Patricia. Thanks for letting me know. Um, okay, so I'm going to open up these framelets because I think it, this is so cute, this baby set. And in my catalogue walkthrough, I said that it was on the top of my wish list. Um, but it's got some beautiful framelets. So you can cut out the baby and the baby in the um, the Jolly Jumper. Um, you can cut out that. But this here is so cute. It makes like a little bunny rug and you can wrap the baby up in the bunny rug, which I think is super, super cute. You can also cut out the bow and the um, bear head to change your babies into girls or boys, which is fantastic. You can pop a onesie onto your baby, which is really, really cute. Um, so lots of different things there that you can um, use the framelits. And this beautiful edgelet die. I can see using that a lot in scrapbooking to pop along edges of um, um, photos and things. <laughs> Michelle's going, I need a second job for my list. I love the dandelion stamp set. Yes, so true. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so I loved the Bouncing Baby Framelits and the Sweet Baby set. I thought that was fantastic. So um, I'll be making some nice, cute little baby cards with that one. Um, okay, now I have no idea why I have two of this stamp set. I need to check on my invoice why I've got two of that stamp set. This uh, There's another set of um, Stamparite markers. That was for my club as well. Um, the beautiful birthday backgrounds. I can see doing some really super cute different things with this. So I think I actually might do, if I've got time, do a quick card just using some of the elements out of this and maybe, yeah, something from that. But some really nice designs. So I think we can do some nice abstract background stamping um, with this. Okay, so I'm going to pop that one aside. This one comes in a bundle as well, and this is called the Broadway Birthday Stamp Set, and it's a really good, fun birthday set. Hey, Jan, how are you going? No worries, you can watch it back later tonight, exactly. Um, nice to see you popping in. So the Broadway birthday stamp set and the lovely framelets. So this has got a beautiful word, big word wish, which I think is fantastic. So I think I'll have some fun playing around with that birthday set as well. 
Now, this one was definitely on my wish list. It's called The Beautiful Promenade. And if you have seen the lovely designer series paper, it is absolutely to die for. They've actually done some designer series paper that they've actually taken photos and made the paper into, um, into some designer series paper. Hang on, I'm just bringing some samples of it. So this here... You actually have to love this gorgeous paper. So that's, um, it's called Petal Promenade. So it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got some lovely um, pictures of flowers and things. So it's gorgeous. And the colours are absolutely to die for. So this was actually definitely on the top of my wish list. I thought this flower was awesome to play around with. And it's got some framelits that match. Is this the framelits that match? Let me see. Have I got it right? No, that's not the one. Beautiful layers thinlets. That might be the one. This one, these framelits actually go with this stamp set here. The Bokeh Blooms. And for some reason I have two of them. It makes a beautiful gatefold card. So I will be doing a live video on that. We may have to wait until um, after next week for me to do that one. But it's got some beautiful flowers. got this lovely round circle, which I thought is fantastic. Hey, Lyndall, thanks for joining. You're on lunch again. Hey, Megan, how are you going? The paper is gorgeous. Yes, Megan, absolutely stunning. So um, the beautiful bouquet blooms and the gatefold blossom framelits are absolutely gorgeous. So I have to work out why I have two of that. Now, I'm just thinking this might be my framelits to go with the beautiful promenade. It's called Beautiful Layers Thinlets. Um, no, Megan, it comes in 12 by 12, but you can, um, yeah, you can still cut it to 6 by 6, but it comes in 12 by 12. Okay, yes, this is definitely it. So... You can cut out these beautiful flowers, and this looks really, really interesting. It's really intricate and absolutely geometrical, looks fantastic. Same with the flower. It has a bit of geometrical look to it too, so it's a little bit different, um, that flower. So um, I, I definitely thought it was great. The sentiments are gorgeous, praying this that this difficult road leads you to a beautiful destination. That's just stunning. But even the strong need a shoulder to lean on. I'm here for you. You're my everything. You're stronger than most. I'm here for you, friend. Absolutely gorgeous. P.S. I love you. You are loved. Absolutely stunning set. So I'll be having some fun with that one. Okay, what do we have here? Artisan textures. I was absolutely in love with this artisan textures. What's it called? Thing is happening here. I've got two lots of gatefold framelits. I don't think I ordered two lots. Anyway, we will see what happens. It may have to be a giveaway if I've ordered two lots. That might be end up being my giveaway. Um, Deborah's saying, this is fun watching your new goodies. Big brown box today and the cardstock some more new link inks and DSP. Yes. Okay, so Artisan Textures stamp set I think is fantastic. I need to work out why I have double of those things there. Um, the rose gold thread. This is what I was telling you about. This is simply stunning. And as you can see, it matches my fingernails as well. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. When I seen it at on stage, and these go with it. And they are stunning as well and huge, absolutely huge. So I think they're actually going to be beautiful accents on a card. I can see the glimmer paper, the rose, got, rose thread and these making a really nice creation. So I'm going to have to maybe take it away on holidays with me and do a little bit of creating while I'm away. Okay, and... I bought the little tiny candles. These are cute. And I've just got some re-inkers and that's just for some of my colours that I've got. So I can make some nice little... I've got Granny Apple Green. And of course Blackberry Bliss, my favourite. Um, but these are cute little birthday candles. They're super, super cute if I can get the lid off. 
look at these candles they've got adhesive on the back they've got adhesive on the back so we've already got a strip of adhesive we just need to pull that off to stick it on but super super cute little candles so we've got silver and gold how cute are those so I think for birthday cards, they're going to be a, a quite a nice little accent on the birthday cards. Hey, Felicia, how are you going? Thanks for joining me. Okay, so that's all my goodies that I ordered this week. So um, I will double check why I have two of those other things. But anyway, so I thought what I would do is make a card today using the dandelion wishes. Um, so... Once again, I will be winging it. Once again, I'm just going to fix my camera here. My camera's all over the shop. Plus, I've got it up high so you can see the box. So I'll bring it down low like I normally have it. So you can see what I'm up to. I'll pop my tablet there so I can see what's going on. Okay. So for anyone that wants to pop an order in during June, you get an entry into the drawer. I'm giving away, does anyone remember what I'm giving away for the month of June? A Stamparatus. So for anybody that orders through my online store during the month of June, for every order that you order, you get an entry into the drawer. And I will be drawing this Stamparatus on the 1st of July. So um, if you have something on that wish list and you want to pop an order in, you need to get it in during the month of June so you can go into the drawer for the entry for the Stamparatus. So for everybody that shares my video today, and um, thank you, Margaret, you've just shared. Well done. Um, yes, Rachel, a Stamparatus. So if you place an, a, an order through my online store, small, large, whatever, you get an entry into the drawer to win a Stamparatus. And everybody needs a Stamparatus in there craft room honestly I could not live without mine and there's so many different things you can do repetitive stamping you can um, do multiple cards where you can stamp the sentiment all in the same spot you can make a template um, you can do round wreath flower stamping you can do so much with this so thank you for sharing Michelle so for everybody that purchases through my online store you will get an entry into the drawer to um, win the Stamparatus and I will be drawing that on the first of um, July and for everybody anyone that purchases over $200 through my online store during the month of June I'm giving away one of our stamping chamois and you can see mine it's very grotty it has been used and used and used but it is our new cleaning tool that is fantastic for the Stamparatus as well um, so if you place an order over $200 in my online store during the month of June 2018 you will, I will purchase one of these and I will send them out at the end of the month. So um, if you're going to do an order for $200, please don't add one of these into your order because you will be getting one um, for purchasing $200 or more through my online store. So it's about time we got on to crafting, don't you think? So I think this dandelion wishes. Um, I'm actually feeling like I want to do some white embossing. I'm feeling like I want to do something with a bit of white embossing as a layer so i'm just going to play around here i've got my tablet here leaning up on my drawers which um isn't helping i'm trying to see the comments as i go and it keeps falling down sit up over there okay so i'm just going to pop out i'm thinking of doing a dark color should i use my blackberry bliss that i absolutely love I think I might. Okay, so I'm going to do a Blackberry Bliss layer. So I have pre-cut all my layers because I have this awesome cutting machine that is um, absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to do Blackberry Bliss and then I'm thinking about what colour card base I might like to do. I'm thinking the beautiful Coastal Cabana because that's my favourite colour at the moment is Coastal Cabana. I'm thinking Blackberry Bliss and Coastal Cabana is looking lovely. Okay, so I'm actually going to um, I'm going to grab my embossing pieces that I need. So I definitely want to use my little embossing buddy. 
because we need to make sure that we have no static. And I'm going to be using my, that's clear, I want white. Okay, white. Embossing. Oh, white embossing powder. Okay, so I'm feeling like I just want to stamp this one here. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to go over my Blackberry Bliss. <laughs> Michelle's going, yes, yes, Blackberry Bliss. <laughs> Rails is saying gorgeous grape. <laughs> Are you saying um, gorgeous grape for my background? I could do gorgeous grape as my background. Do you want to see what gorgeous grape looks like with it? I have gorgeous grape here. What do you think? Coastal Cabana or gorgeous grape, everybody? Tell me what your votes are. I'll pop those two aside. So we've got this one or this one. So depending on what you want to do. Darn, I need to go have fun, everyone. <laughs> no worries, Deborah. Catch you later. You can catch the recording later on. Okay, so I'm just going to rub my embossing buddy over. Now, the reason that I rub the embossing buddy over is to make sure that I have no static happening on my card because I don't want um, my embossing powder to stick to something that I don't want it to stick to. So that one... I'm just thinking of whether I can do a card this way. That and maybe that. I'm winging it once again, people. I have no idea what I'm up to. I think I want to take them off the page, so I'm going to ink that up. Rita's saying Coastal Cabana. <laughs> Rachel's saying Gorgeous Grape. <laughs> How about what we do is we make two? How about that? I'll make one with Coastal Cabana and one with Gorgeous Grape. So I'll grab another layer of, I'm still going to do Blackberry Bliss, I'm afraid to say, because it is my favourite. So I'm going to do one probably with just the one dandelion and I'll do one with all of them. That sounds like a plan. So I'm going to go over both of them. Okay, so I'm going to ink that one up. I need to grab a block this one I'm going to stick that that one there so you need fairly large blocks for these because they're fairly long and fairly wide so um yeah i'm using block size e so i don't use this block size very much so um beware if you get the dandelion stamp you need some larger blocks Okay, so I'm going to grab my Versamark ink and I'm going to ink up this one. I want to grab a scrap piece of paper to um, pop underneath so because I want to stamp off. Okay, so I've got a scrap piece of paper. I want to be able to stamp off because this one I want to pop both of them on and I, I think I haven't got quite enough room. To pop them all on. Okay, so I'm going to ink that up with my Versamark ink. I've just popped my finger in the Versamark ink. So I actually want to stamp this one over this way because I need to have enough room for that one. Actually, I'm going to stamp this one first. Sorry, everyone, I'm changing my mind. But I need to stamp that one first to see how much room I have for the other one. Okay. So I want that to pop up into that corner and I just dropped that so hopefully I haven't made a mess. Okay. No, that looks okay. And then I'm going to stamp this one just down here because I want lots and lots of dandelions all over this card I think is going to look really, really cute. No worries, Patricia. You can go and catch the recording later on. Everyone seems to be busy today. I don't know whether I normally go live on a Thursday. I'm not sure. Sorry, it's not Thursday. It's Wednesday, isn't it? Oh, my God. I'm so confused with the days this week. That's what happens when you have a, a long weekend. You get confused with the days. 
because we had Monday off. Hey, Joni, thanks for joining. Now, look at that. Doesn't that look super, super cute? Okay, so on this one, I'm going to stamp this one. I'm not. I'm going to heat them both together. So on this one, I just want to stamp. I think I'm going to do it this way. And I just want to stamp just the three of them, I think. I'm going to do this down here because I've already done the heat. I've already done the embossing body, so that's okay. There is another stamp in this which I think I'm going to use as well just for something different to get the same similar effect there's some dandelions that sort of are like floating so I think I'm going to stamp some of them floating up the top or yeah I think I'm going to float them up the top I'm going to grab a little block gee I've been winging things a lot lately haven't I I've been so busy trying to get other clubs and things done that trying to get organized I normally get organized and totally settled knowing exactly what I'm going to do in my live videos but because I've been so busy I haven't got around to doing that so I'm just going to now I'll pop that embossing powder back into my container and start again This is a new container of embossing powder and the embossing powder seems to get bigger and bigger. It's amazing. I feel like it it, it grows when I use it. <coughs> hey Beth, how are you going? Um, Chrissy's saying she's not very confident using embossing so it's good to see you doing it. Chrissy, I can tell you, once you master it, you are going to love it. It is the bomb of card making. It really is. So the main thing is definitely use your embossing buddy. So that's quite cute too. Definitely use your embossing buddy to make sure that you don't get any finger marks and to make sure that your embossing powder doesn't stick to anything that you don't want it to stick to. That is the one main key. So the embossing buddy is something not to forget to do. Um, so if I decide to emboss, I make sure that I get my embossing buddy out um, and have it on my desk to make sure that I've definitely got it to, to do it. Now I always put my lid back on my Versamark and pop my Versamark away because I don't like to heat when I still have my Versamark around. So I'm just going to bring those back in. Beth saying it is 11.42 p.m. in Ohio, USA. Thank you, Beth. I know you watch me on YouTube all the time. So thank you. I'm glad you found me on Facebook now. But strange time for you to be watching. If it was me, I would be in bed, sound asleep at 12.42 p.m. So I'm just going to, sorry, just bear with me, I'm going to plug in, sorry, and I'm bumping the camera there. I just need to plug in my embossing gun, which I have. So now I'm just going to heat that. So make sure you warm your embossing gun up. You use the second heat level and make sure it's nice and hot to, um, to heat your embossing. Now this is where you see the wow factor, when you start to see it go really, really white on your cardstock. So as you can see, it's turning white, it's going nice and light. Absolutely stunning. So there you go, you have seen the magic of embossing and it's even better when it's on dark cardstock because you can see it actually forming and appearing in front of your eyes. Silver on black, is probably the most spectacular, I think, when you're doing heat embossing. These dandelions are super, super gorgeous. And yes, your cardstock does warp and, and curl. You can then turn it over and heat it on the other side to make it um, flatten out a little bit. But once it cools off, it tends to flatten out. And as long as you use 
a good adhesive on the back so I would use fast fuse when I'm going to stick it down to make sure it sticks down really nice and flat um, now that we don't have fast fuse the tear and tape would be a great alternative and just heat them a little bit on the back to flatten them out a little bit so they are super super cute We'll be ordering after watching. It is beautiful, isn't it, Rita? It's simply stunning. Um, it was definitely top of my wish list, I can tell you. Okay, so I'm going to use our bases here. So I'm just going to um, put a bit of moisture there from heating. So we now have, this is the Gorgeous Grape. So we're going to do one in Gorgeous Grape and we're going to do one in Coastal Cabana. So I'm going to use my bone folder to crease that nicely and the Coastal Cabana. <laughs> Rachel's saying I need a longer wish list. Loving the new catalogue. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Thanks for sharing, Beth. Thanks for that. Um, yes, I, I must admit the um, catalogue is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pop those on there like that. Okay, so I think I want something like a nice bit of ribbon to happen. So I'm thinking the nice polka dot ribbon could be quite cute because it's still feminine, it's still quite dainty. So I'm going to um, pop a little bit of... God, I'm having trouble with that tablet. It keeps wanting to fall. So I'm just going to pop a bit of fast fuse on the back here and I'm going to wrap some of my beautiful polka dot ribbon around. And this polka dot ribbon is stretchy. You can pull it stretchy and you can have a tighter effect on your product, on your project. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm then going to stick some fast fuse all over the back to make it stick down nicely. And my fast fuse wants to play up. One of them plays up and the other one works really well. This one's going to work okay now. So definitely all around your edges and get a fair bit of um, fast fuse strong adhesive on the back when you've done heat embossing. Okay, so I'm just going to mount that one onto my Coastal Cabana. We've got a beautiful eighth of an inch border all the way around. I'm going to stick that down. I'm going to turn it over and rub it to make it stick really nicely and flat. And as you can see, stuck really nice and flat using the fast fuse. So um, you don't have to panic about your um, cardstock warping when you use a nice strong adhesive on the back. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit of this ribbon on this one as well. So I think I'm just going to pop that across the bottom. So I'm going to do the same thing. So fast fuse on the bottom there. This polka dot ribbon, you can actually color it as well. So with your blends and things, you can um, color. You can spritz it with your inks. Um, it comes in... The lovely white and it also comes in um, very vanilla so um, it's a lovely a lovely fine ribbon to pop on on really nice I think cards that are quite delicate which I feel like these dandelions are quite um, delicate and fine and intricate so um, I thought the polka dot rib ribbon would go really well with it so I'm just going to line that up and get a nice border all the way around like so, and I've got it where I want it, turn it over and press it down. Okay, so I am going to tie a bow, but I've got to work out the sentiment that I'm going to pop on this. So I think what I'm going to do is just with a tiny little, I've got, how are the sentiments going to go? I need to work out how to do these. Let me see. This one here, I'm trying to think of what size punch 
would fit that triple banner punch. Mm, yep, I think I can do that. So I'm actually going to do this one in Coastal Cabana, I think. Thanks, Carol. Carol saying lovely cards. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to grab a piece. Of, sorry, I've just bumped the camera. I'm going to grab a piece of Whisper White scrap. Okay. And I think I'm going to stamp this in um, Blackberry Bliss, I think. Lindell saying, lovely stamp, it looks lovely with that ribbon. Yes, Lindell, I think the ribbon absolutely sets it off. Okay, so I'm going to ink that up and stamp that just like so. You wait until you see. Sorry, I'm probably out of camera shot there. I'll move it up. Oh, and I didn't stamp it nice enough. I need to ink it up better. <laughs> I think my... um. Blackberry Bliss ink is starting to need to be re-inked. I'm kidding. No, I just didn't stamp it down properly. So there you go. Ah, oh, look at that sentiment. Isn't that just to die for? That's super, super cute. So I'm just going to pop that out. And it will just fit in the um, truly tailored punch. I think that's so, so, so cute. I'm going to pop that up on some dimensionals for that one. Using the edge of my dimensionals, ladies, please, please don't waste those dimensionals. Use every single skerrick. Now, I want to pop them... Um, all around the place because I want to make sure that I've not just got it over the spotted ribbon because I want it to stick down and adhere to my card base properly. So I'm making sure that I get it all over the place to make sure I'm not just sticking down on the ribbon. I don't want my sentiment floating around on my card. No worries, Joni. These cards are awesome. Thank you, Joni. Just a quick bit of crafting. I did an unpacking of my order and then I just thought I'll jump on and make a quick couple of cards because we all need a bit of crafting in our afternoon. So I'm just going to pop that one like that. And then I think I'm going to tie just a tiny little, not a bow, I'm just going to tie like a little knot. With this ribbon if I can do it on camera I feel like I'm all fingers at the moment okay got it through just like that so I think that is super super cute what do you think Lovely, cute card. I don't mind the gorgeous grape, so I do think that was a nice choice. I still like the Coastal Cabana, though. Hey, Wendy. Margaret's saying very cute. Thank you. So I'm actually going to tie a bow and stick a bow on this one. So I'm actually going to tie it in a bow. And then I'll work out the other sentiment for this and where I can pop it. So I'm just going to tie a little bow. And as you can see, I tie it with it still on the spool so I don't waste any ribbon. It's very stretchy, this too, because it's chill. So it's it, it actually stretches um, as you tie, so as you pull it. So I think that bow is quite cute to sit there. I'm even going to finish off the insides of these ladies. I don't, I haven't been doing the insides late now. I feel, I actually jump off and I go and do all the insides. So I feel like I've been letting you down a little bit by not doing the inside. So I will finish off the inside for you. Uh, 
Um, which stamp set it is, Wendy? It is called Dandelion Wishes. That's the stamp set there. I just got it yesterday. It arrived in on my front doorstep. So it was one of my definite wish lists. Because when I first ordered, I actually didn't get a chance to order what I wanted to order. I had to order lots and lots of things for other people. So... Um, I actually chose with this order to order things that I wanted for myself, so it was quite nice. Okay, I'm going to do just a cute, I'm wondering whether that will fit on a tag. It says, I made a wish, I made a wish and you came true, so I think that's quite cute. I think I'm going to do that, that will just fit on there, so... And I'm going to ink this one up in, um, will it fit like that? Yes. I'm going to ink this one up in the Coastal Cabana to tie in my base colour. Hopefully I'm going to get this and stamp this straight, I'm hoping. If I don't, I can always turn it over and go again. Ooh, I did not do that. I'm, I'm going to put it on a different block. I need to mount it straight on a block. That's better. I had a feeling I was going to do that. I don't do well with um, popping sentiments angle ways. <laughs> we'll try this side over here. See if I get it straighter this time. No, I'm still not happy with that. What is going on? It's going down at an angle, so I need to, okay. So I need to see that this is straight here, so I need to. Sometimes when you've got scrolly sentiments, it's really hard to get, especially with these clear rubber ones, because you can't see what's straight and what's not. That's better. I'm happier with that. Another one for your wish list. I told you, Wendy, I, I know it just never ends, but that's okay because you're part of my team, so you're getting the beautiful discount. So if anyone would like to <clears throat> join Stamping Up and be part of my wonderful Wild Heart Crafters team, I would love to have you. And you get everything at a discounted rate, so you get 20% discount. As soon as you purchase the starter kit, for every order after that, you get 20% discount. And I think that is totally awesome because we all have wish lists a mile long and why not get them at a cheaper price? So if you are interested in joining my Wild Heart Crafters, you purchase the starter kit for $169, you get $235 worth of product for $169. So um, it's an awesome bargain. I'm just going to trim that off. Lindell, oh, you got to go back to work, Lindell, no worries. Um, Michelle's saying her wish list is never ending as well, Wendy, so you're not alone. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that up on dimensionals. Um, if I can find what I did with my dimensionals. Oh, I used the last of them there. That's what I did. I actually swept my craft room out yesterday. I had so many pieces of little bits of paper and cardstock all over the ground everywhere. And it looked like confetti on my floor. So I got in yesterday morning and I cleaned everything out. And it's now wonderful and clean. Although I have been looking. I've got a few stamping up dimensional backings and things on the floor again. Which is what we have happen in our craft room I try to pop them all in the bin but they end up everywhere and I was in my bathroom just a little while ago before I came live and I put my arm up I was looking in the mirror and I put my arm up and I had a stamping up dimensional stuck to my arm as well and I thought that would be right I've come in here and I've got dimensional stuck to me so I'm just going to pop that down that I can see the ribbon and then I'm going to um, pop some fast fuse on the corner there and I'm going to pop my bow on that corner. So what are you thinking, ladies? Is this definitely on your wish list? 
think that's pretty cute. So I'm just going to grab some white layers now and I'm just going to um, pop a layer on the inside so you can see what I actually do when I layer it up. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a whisper white piece for both. And I'm going to, I'm going to clean the um, little tiny, lovely little dandelions. I'm going to clean that with my scrub. Oh my God, I just lost my tablet altogether down this side. It doesn't want to stay here today. Okay, I can still see your comments. I'll pop it up there. Maybe I can see your comments up there. That's better. Okay. Um, everything's falling around the place. So I'm going to grab the Coastal Cabana for this one. And I'm just going to pop a few little dandelions with my Coastal Cabana. Just heading up the side of my card. Just like that. I think is quite cute. So that can be okay for this one. So I'll grab some of my... Uh, what have we got? I think my favourite is Coastal Cabana. Love them both though. You're back again, Angie. You've changed devices. Uh, Rails is saying no because I don't think I'd use it enough. Cards are gorgeous. Um, yeah, I just I just think it was just so pretty. And not necessarily using it for the dandelions either. I just think the sentiments are gorgeous. So I thought... Um, I, I just definitely love that beautiful scrolly sentiment. So I'm just going to pop that on the inside and I'll leave the rest blank so that they can write whatever they want to write. But I think that's a cute, super cute card. And you could also pop a little bit of bling in the centres of your dandelion. So I'm going to bring in the other layer here now for this one. And I think what I'm going to do for that, I'm going to scrub the big... Um, no, I'm actually going to do, sorry, I'm, I am winging it here once again. I think I'm going to do the single one where they're blowing away, but I want to do it that it's, it's actually quite a light color. So I think what I want to do is do our gray granite. And I think I want to stamp off. I'm just going to check and see. I'm going to grab that scrap bit of paper that I threw away. I'm just going to check what it's like if I ink it up and stamp it off, whether I'm going to like that. Yes. Yep, I think a second time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do just this one. I'm going to stamp it off once okay so i'm going to stamp it off and then i'm going to stamp it just in the middle okay i think that's how i'm going to finish it just like that Ah uh, yes, I did see that, Chrissy. Thank you for your order. I did see that you got the um the stamp and scrub and the mist. You won't regret it. I can tell you, I have had it since day one, and I have loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I know that the stamping chamois has come in, and there is a place for the stamping chamois, but I still finish off cleaning my stamps with my stamp and scrub. Okay, so I'm just going to close those ink pads so I don't get it everywhere. So there you go. There's another cute, quick card. So we've used the Coastal Cabana and the Gorgeous Grape with our beautiful Blackberry Bliss. Yes, Murray, it is pretty. The Coastal Cabana up the side. I think it's quite cute. Um, Angie's saying both beautiful cards. Thank you very much, ladies, and thank you... Um, for enjoying and putting a bit of input into those cards. I love it when people give me color combinations to do. So now I'm just going to do one more cute, quick card. 
with this quirky birthday background stamp because I, I, I actually looked at it and I was like, oh my God, I really want that because I love doing some abstract backgrounds. So um, I'm going to just do a white card, so I'll move them out of the way. I'm just going to do a white base. I think I have a white base here. Yes. So I went crazy and cut, sorry, you're going to see my arm there. I went crazy and cut all my bases ready to go. And I just want a white layer as well. That's all I'm going to do. And I think I'll cut down my white layer and I might put a splash of color. So I'm going to cut down the size of my white layer. So what I've done is I've cut all my layers ready to go. And I've cut a basic one layer. And then I can work out sizing if I want to go down smaller. I can. So I'm just going to do go down just an eighth of an inch on both sides. And that will allow me to pop some color in the background. I'm not sure what color yet, but I will be able to pop some color in the background. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. Hey, Julie, thanks for joining. You're going to get the set for sure? Yeah, it's a pretty beautiful set. Okay, I'm just going to use these on this card, the lovely little round circles. I may use the dots. I'm not real sure, but I think I'm just going to use these. And I want to play around a little bit with some different colours. So... Okay, we've got to get away from the purples, people. I, I use purples so, so much. Anyone give me three colours that they think would be a great combination? So I'll just wait until you type it into the into the comments. Tell me three colours you would like to see put together. Three complementing colours that would go together nicely. Waiting to see in the comments. I'm loving the the granny uh, the um grey granite. So three colors. What are your three favorite colors that you think will go together nice on this? Cuz I'm just going to do a fun quirky background. Gee, there's a delay or is nobody typing any comments? Someone tell me three colors. Come on, let's go. Three color combinations. What are your favorite three colors? Three colors that you use together a lot. Red, yellow, and pink. Okay. So we'll we use Poppy Parade. Um, yellow, we may use Mango Melody. And pink, we may use the new Petal Pink. What do you think? Petal Pink. Okay, so I'm going to use those three. So this is your choice. This is, whose choice was it? Chrissy, your choice. Okay, so I'm going to use these three colors. Okay, so what I'm going to do is in the bright color, I'm going to use Poppy Parade. Okay, Poppy Parade. And I'm randomly going to stamp this there and another one down here and I'm going to clean that off okay I'm going to use the mango melody and I'm going to go um, I need my scrap piece of paper because I need to go off the edge. So I'm going to go up here in the corner. Like that. And another one here. And another one here. Oh, wow, that's looking cute already. Okay, so the petal pink, I think I'm going to use... Another one of the stamps in here. I did say I wanted to use the little dots, so I think I'm going to use the little dots. 
and I'm going to use that in petal pink. I've got so many color combinations here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use petal pink and I'm going to pop some dots around. Okay, I need, I think I'm going to do some poppy parade dots in there too as well. I think I need some more, a bit more color happening in there. Although it's quite cute the way it is. But I still think I want to put some Poppy Parade dots in as well. Okay. Yes, look at that. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. And now I'm going to use one of those wonderful sentiments out of my new stamp. Where did it go? Oh, did I leave it up here? Yes, I did. I'm going to use one of these big, big, bold stamps. I might do congratulations to you and I think I'm going to do it on another piece of white cardstock. Oh, you're furry. Messy, furry. Ah, okay. So I think I'm going to use... I'm going to mount that up onto this block. I'm going to use one of my big pieces of Whisper White to go across. Wow, I've never had that before. It's got all like it's been, it's got a bit of fluff all over it. Um, what have we got here? I wasn't a fan of the stamp set. I tend to um, change people's minds on the stamp set. I'm just going to give that a bit of a scrub because it's got a bit of fluffy just where they've trimmed all around the stamp. So I'm just going to clean that up a bit. Okay, I'm going to use my Memento Black Ink. I'm going to ink that up in my memento. Make sure it's inked up really, really well. And I'm just going to stamp that down and hopefully I get it straight. Yes. Okay. Now. I'm going to add, what color do I have in my layers here? I'm going to add some of the Mango Melody behind my white piece. Just to set it off, to give it a bit more color. I'm just going to close up my ink pads now. So I don't mess it up. So I think I'm going to pop it up on, yes, look at that. And then pop it onto my white card. I think that's looking lovely. So I'm just going to fold that in half. I've got a Whisper White base. And I'm going to crease it with my bone folder. I'm then going to, with my Tombow, pop some Tombow on the back here. turn it over it's amazing what you can do as I said with elements in a stamp set you've got to look at all of the pieces in the stamp set and see what you can actually do because you can make some really really beautiful backgrounds by um, just looking at what you can do in the background of a stamp so I'm just going to I'm going to use my um, triple banner punch I'm going to flag the end of this. I'm going to pop that in. 
I'm going to pop it up through so I can bring it up shorter. Work out where my sentiment is. There it is there. So we'll do that. Okay. So I'm thinking that's quite cute. So I'm actually going to pop that up on dimensionals because everybody loves a bit of dimension to the card. Michelle's saying the card is so cute. I think I want to pop one in the middle too. Thank you, Michelle. And considering I didn't really have anything in mind, I'm just going with the flow. But thank you for the colour combination. And it has worked out quite well. Okay, so I think I'm going to go that way. Layer that up on my Whisper White base. I think it's really nice, this white, and having it quite crisp and clean. And I'm just going to pop that one up on Dimensionals. And I'm going to do a little bit of a ribbon trick, I think, behind this. Um... I think I might do just my cute gold ribbon. I think it needs something just a bit in the background. So I'm just going to, I've got this beautiful, the very vanilla with the um, gold edge trim. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of fast fuse in the middle here. And I'm just going to do a bit of a zigzag with my ribbon like that like that that a little bit more here and like that and then pop my sentiment yes over the top what do you think people and then trim that off How cute is that? <laughs> Marie's saying that's beautiful. Michelle's saying that card is so cute. Thank you very much, everybody. So that is using the new um, birthday backgrounds and our new friendly expressions stamp set. So two beautiful stamp sets that I think... Um, definitely maybe will be on people's wish lists now and the card that i the two cards that i did before was using the beautiful dandelion wishes so i've had some fun playing with my new items today um, and these are the two cards that i have done there using the dandelion wishes so um that's about all i'm going to do i'm just going to flip you back around and have a bit of a chat with you now Okay, as you can see, my little crafting buddy has been in the background. Theo has been watching and crafting with us the whole afternoon. So um, thank you for watching. Just a few little housekeeping things. Um, my new In Colour Club, I am still taking more members for my In Colour Club. Now, if you're in the In Colour Club, you should have um, received your packages and also, um, I'm thinking, did I email you the video link? Yes, I'm positive I emailed the video link. Please let me know if I didn't email the video link to um, your card that you got with your In Colour Club. Also, too, if you're in my Stamps Club, the video will be going up in our private Facebook group tonight. Um, I've actually recorded the video and it's ready to go up. My VIP Blends Club, the video will be going up um, also tonight, hopefully in our VIP Blends um, private group. Um, now, if you want to purchase any of these items and you want to place an order through my online store, you only, you're over on, um, Chrissy's going, no, not, not yet, hopefully today. Um, okay, so I haven't emailed Chrissy, is that what you're saying? I haven't emailed, what have I done with the video? 
I've done it. I've uploaded it and I've put it. I'm positive I emailed it out to everybody, but I will double check. I'll probably turn around and do another email anyway. Um, have you received your products yet, Chrissy? I will double check on that if you haven't received it. Um, anyway, so videos will all be going up. All the videos are recorded and ready to go, so I'm done for the month. I will be away next week. Um, I'm hopefully maybe going to pop on one more time and do a bit more crafting with you this week if, um, if um, I'm not too busy. But I will try and get back and use some more of these beautiful new products with you. So um, if you haven't been over my website, please check out my website, which is... Um, um, okay, Chrissy's saying she didn't get an email. Okay, have you got... Um, Chrissy, I'm trying to think, are you in my In Colour Club? I'm trying to remember who's in my In Colour Club. You're in both, aren't you? You were in the Paper Share and the In Colour Club, is that correct? I'm trying to remember back to people's I've sent out so many things lately um Angie said she got her in color club and you're happy ma well done Angie I'm so glad so um yes you're in both okay so have you got both of your product uh, so have you got both your paper share and your in color club kit Chrissy that's the question I'm asking if I haven't um not got products. Okay, I will double check because I did. Oh, that's right. I sent out an email with everybody's um, with everybody's tracking numbers in it. So you probably um, should have got the emails. If you're not getting my emails, Chrissy, double check in um, your um, sometimes underneath your um, promotions folder in your email or um, um, yeah, sometimes it can go into that section. So double check that you haven't. Um, it hasn't gone into something like that. Um, okay, so once again, I'm glad um, that you have enjoyed my crafting this afternoon and looked at all my new goodies. So just a refresh, if you place an order, any order, big or small, you get an entry into um, the draw to win the free Stamparatus. So you may be the lucky person that your name comes out in the drawer on the 1st of January, uh, 1st of July. But I will be drawing this on the 1st of July for all orders placed during the month of June. Big, small, whatever it is. However many orders you get, one entry per order. So if anyone um, wants to place an order um, during the month of June, if you place an order during the month of June and it is over $200, I will be sending you a complimentary stamping shemmy it will not look as grotty as this with stamping up dimensionals stuck all over it um but i will be sending you a complimentary stamping shemmy if you have placed an order over 200 dollars. and one of the questions is if i have placed several orders and they've added up to 200 dollars, do i get one no the idea is if you place an order for 200 dollars or more you will get a stamping shemmy and I will order them at the end of the month and send them out early in July. Um, so thank you all for watching. Have a lovely time and hopefully I'll be able to jump on maybe sometime later um, tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'll see how I go. Otherwise, I'm going to be missing in action next week, people. So I will try. I'm hopefully going to try and take a bit of a kit away and do a quick live video while I'm away if I get a chance. But my girls will be playing hockey for three days in a state championship in um, Cronulla in Sydney. So I'll be tripping away. It'll be a nine and a half hour trip for us to get down to Sydney. And we'll be down there for three days and then drive nine and a half hours back again. So we'll be gone for every day like for the five days of the week next week so but I will pop on from time to time if you ever have any questions I have all my um, computer and everything with me so please if you have an, an issue please let me know so, and Rita saying good luck to the girls thank you Rita hopefully they um, they actually got in the grand final last year in the state championships they are representing the north coast area so um, they actually got in the champion in the grand final um, last year, but got the silver medal. So, um, yeah, it would be wonderful for them to actually bring home the gold medal for a change. So thank you, everybody. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye for now.